Hello there, I'm Charlotte Woodson and representing Voice FM and Musical Lottie's Music News. We are well into the new year and I hope by now you've made a start on your New Year's resolutions. I'm going to share with you my review of the band's performances at the Voice FM Christmas Eve charity event. commitments I didn't actually get to watch Lucy Smith's performance. Luckily my assistant cameraman was on hand to capture the action. Her unique vocal style, brilliant guitar playing and the ability to put her own twist on well-known songs gives her the potential to climb up the music ladder. about to start just as I had arrived. Their set kicked off with an acoustic cover of Wild Cherry's Play That Funky Music with a festive twist. As well as covers of well-known songs such as Bippy Clyra's Black Chandelier, they also performed some original material, both of which were executed perfectly. Room 4 are a vital example of why we should support young and local talent. They could be the next big thing. Camp were featured at Voice FM's Halloween show and I remember them performing a great set. Looking very festive, they started off with a cover of the Hive's classic Hate to Say I Told You So, which got the crowds going, as well as brilliantly covering out the mix songs such as Firework, Don't Stop Believing and Seven Nation Army. We also got to hear some cracking original songs such as Dance the Night Away. I look forward to seeing more of them this year. FM's Morning Zoo provided us with a kind of light-hearted interval halfway between the bands, with a parody of Shaken Stevens' Merry Christmas Everyone, calling it Britain's Christmas. It delivered smiles, dancing and laughing to the audience. Please listen out for the Morning Zoo on Voice FM, Monday to Friday from 7am. Zyson from New Device were next up. They performed a brilliant acoustic set. Their eclectic selection of songs went down very well with the crowds. The two songs that highlighted their set for me were in the fading light from their first album, because I hadn't heard it performed for a little while, and Another Life, as it received a brilliant reception from the crowd. Their brilliant cover of Wham's Last Christmas allowed the audience one last sing-along before marking the end of a fantastic set. Eastleigh Rock piece three times over a couple of months ago, I was quite excited about seeing their set. I was very taken with their live performance, their energetic stage presence, interaction with the crowds and their studio-like sound gave them the full package for a great live show. I recognised songs from their EP such as Vampire and Summer Lullaby. Their performance of Shaking Stevens' Merry Christmas Everyone was possibly the best cover of that song I've heard. It even featured a dancing snowman, which most certainly gets the musical Lottie thumbs up. This was my first time watching the Sweet Chunks band, and I hadn't heard of them before until Christmas Eve. I was completely taken by their quirky stage presence, upbeat folk music and comical lyrics. This was the perfect band to end the evening on. 
They certainly went down well with the crowds as they played their music, and their banter was certainly informative and entertaining. I do hope I get to see this band again very soon. <laughs> Overall, I think the Voice FM Christmas party turned out to be a success and I certainly enjoyed myself. And judging from this footage I got from the night, I think other people did as well. I certainly think they could pull it off again this year.